Hello, everybody, and welcome back. It's Blood Letters, which means it must be like July, um, because God knows we don't play this as often as we say we're going to. But no, Miracle of Miracles, here we are. It's March. How long has it been? Like three weeks, four weeks? Do we actually do it within a month? Uh, last maybe. Session, yeah, last session was the 13th of February, God so that's damn. like... We're setting a dangerous precedent here, my friends. Yeah. yeah. We're setting yeah. a dangerous precedent. We should have waited several several more weeks. But I'm glad <laughs> it's exactly did. exactly three weeks. Pretty crazy. Wow. That must yeah. be that's a new what what devil's bargain did we take to make this happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the bad news is this is the last episode, everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. Um, before before we before we talk about anything else, I was reminded uh, because someone in chat has the correct opinion of RC vis a vis Cantor <laughs> and which one sucks. Um, yeah, I was reminded of our excellent Twitter uh, uh, jousting uh, earlier, uh, Sean, and I, I, that was it. That was very entertaining. Thank you. It was. It was <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that was good times. <laughs> so if you if you missed it, if you don't follow both Sean and I on Twitter. Um, someone pointed out to Sean, uh, what was it through, where did, where did this, this opinion get expressed oh, to you? Oh, uh, so this was somebody responding. Somebody had some blades in the dark questions on backer kit and I, I was helping them get their, their special edition copy, like the very last minute. And so they had lots of reasons to suck up to me. Right. And the, 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 the final thing they said was, uh, RC rocks, canter sucks or, or RC rules, canter sucks. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I, I took a little screenshot of just that. I hid their name because I didn't want, you know, Karen to, to get, come. You didn't want them to get <laughs> shot several <Yeah>. times? <laughs> no, uh, and, and tweeted it. And then a, a fun discourse ensued. Yeah, that was really entertaining. Thank you for thank you for that. Our little, like, weird Twitter LARP battle thing that we did. That was nice. That was a highlight of my social media interactions this week. Um. How's everybody? How's everybody been doing? How how are we? I saw the special edition of your game, John. It looks great. Thanks. I'm Thanks, excited about this this alternate city business. Yeah, the yeah, watch is awesome. Uh, so tonight you're getting hired to go down south. Uh, <laughs> special edition content. <laughs> that hot DLC nerps. Yeah, do you all have the DLC. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, we're we're, we're getting, we want that foreign market. How do we get that claim? That's how we do it. Yeah. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to burn down their, their sword school. We have to go to their capital and destroy it. <laughs> and trash that too. Yeah. At what at what point did the blood letters become international terrorists? <laughs> I think you've already crossed that line. I mean, as you say, I think we've hit sovereign Aruvian territory or members, but eh, whatever. Yeah. What happens in Dustfall? We haven't we haven't hit our we haven't hit our season five of I mean I think we're still we're still firmly entrenched in in season like one here in terms of our growth so it's it's okay eventually eventually it'll be right. mayor Haig and Am ambassador rc and for some reason <laughs> you're still not doing anything with your characters trash. but you know you're allowed to hang out with us spins out of the imperial treasury uh scroll yeah. yeah yeah that's exactly. that's what I'm... <laughs> yeah in mayor Haig. i don't know what you're talking about emperor Haig. you guys are somewhere title. you guys are somewhere there yeah there. Yeah. Well, I was speaking of special edition. I was very excited uh, because I I've worked on a lot of design projects in my life that usually have complicated briefs that are mandated by corporate overlords uh, in various ways, and uh, sometimes for good reasons, like like book design in general needing to have some kind of shelf appeal and like have the title of the product on it and stuff like that. Uh, but with this one, um, none of that had to be true because it was always going to be printed and sent directly to the people that wanted it. So the first time I got to just be like, you know what? I'm not, I'm breaking the rules. I don't care. No, no title. I'm just going to do whatever I want. And that was, that was fun. It was, yeah. It's going to be a pretty slick cover. Between, I can't wait to feel that. Between this, between this and like the uh, Uduasha stuff. And um, have you seen uh, Johnstone's like OSR nightmare thing? Oh, yeah. Between the two of those, I'm just like, ah, oh, yes, yes, fuck off forever, Tolkien. Get out of here. <laughs> Go back to your fantasy Europe and never return. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm super excited. It's very Johnstone Metzger's cool. work. If you guys out there are not deep in his stuff, like you got to get there. It's he everything he makes is incredible. 
Uh, he just he just drops these design bombs like out of nowhere. Like it's not like he he doesn't build up to them. He's just like, oh yeah, I finished this game. And you're like, what? The what the hell, it's man? It's like a, a three four hundred page tome. Uh, one in particular that has different chapters in different colors, such that when you look at the edges, it turns into a rainbow. Uh, <laughs> also, if you have not played Space Worm versus Moonicorn, I recommend it. Yeah. I know it sounds weird, but check it out. I, I went into it going, this is a gorgeous book. I just want to copy because it's lovely to look at. And when I read it, it's this like hardcore PvP empire spanning punk rock versus the man kind of thing. It's played in like... 13 or more sessions it's crazy but it also has one set, one shot rule so it's I feel like I feel like to the yeah. to the point of to the point of, of Johnstone as a as a person with some stealth I was he just did it <laughs> I was about to say we were midway through an apocalypse world campaign and I was telling the players about or we were regaling chat with stories of Johnstone syndrome which is a certain way of playing apocalypse world that that originated with him and just out of nowhere like 2 hours into the episode he's just in chat he's just like oh yeah that's me I'm that guy and he just literally just did it in chat he was like finally some <laughs> Johnstone metscribe dude is everywhere so go go check go check that out uh if you want to uh if you want to see a really cool i'm stealing some of the rules from from uh that game from nightmares uh for uh court of swords uh some of the kind of in between nice. adventure stuff uh and it's it's going real well it's been cool um so definitely definitely check that out uh, if you're looking for more non uh western european fantasy stuff um so Blood letters, right? That's a thing that we're gonna do. Yeah, that's that's we're, the game we're gonna play. I, so I never, I get so into playing Cantor that I lose my ability to remember anything or think straight. Um, where are we? What's happening? It's okay because just in case someone hasn't seen the last episode, I'm you're the perfect I'm a method role player. You're, you're the point of view character to introduce every game. To. <laughs> yeah, what sitting exactly. is this again? Yeah. What trash pile does does Cantor wake up in again? So we started last session finishing up uh, some some downtime things. And most of those weren't huge, but there were a couple notable things. Um, uh, Oscar slipped Rorik's artifact into the chair backing, but his timing wasn't so great. So he got pinned alone with an Aruvian and a, it's sort of an ambivalent crow. And he then lightning fisted that Aruvian <laughs> through the chest and there's an Aruvian no more. Uh, we set up a drug distribution network with uh, Lamp Blacks, so that was good. We made a, uh, a personal enemy out of Aya Najan, one oh, of the yeah. Arubians, because, you know, uh, Oscar buried himself because he's a freaking weirdo. And uh, Cantor and Lissa were indisposed, and when lightning struck, he was just like, oh, yeah, baby. That's yeah, that's right. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> I was awesome at sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the thing that I did. I remember that now. Yeah. I remember see? that part. Uh, and then we did the score, which was having a show of force against the bill hooks to say, oh, we're in charge now. You're going to peddle our product, and this is why. And uh, I can pass to the talent if someone wants to fill in details on, on the score itself. Uh, I All I remember is I got shot in the chest with a shotgun, and it didn't do shit because I'm the best. <laughs> um, and then also RC saved me from getting shot again. But <laughs> because I'm so inspiring and cool, you decided, yes. no, Cantor must live. No, and nobly no. threw yourself uh, in the way of the, of the shot, which I'm very proud of um, personally for myself as an achievement. Make, yeah. making you do that we uh, no it was it was it was just in the, we we figured out as of rules 8.1 that anyone that sees Cantor just falls in love or yeah. or, or dies instantly if they want to hurt him so yeah. that's that's the new that's the new rules um but the the score was we we got some dirt on Aaron we uh we talked to our contact Roland Watt who was a magistrate and had her had uh, her brother uh Tarvel who is the head of the gang who's in Iron Hook he had his proxy, like the legit thing. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, Angus Spiefkow. I did not forget that I took my last tick with Stara. Uh, John uh, John kind of casually was like, oh, you just have one clock filled up with that after the game? Oh, okay. Just one clock. All right, great. Um, anyway, uh, we'll get to that in a second. And uh, uh, so we we got a proxy, which essentially said that everything goes to Corrin, Tarval's son, and <laughs> that an assassination hit would go after Aaron, if Tarval dies. So we took that, 
plus some real juicy info about where Aaron lived because talk shit roll grits. We were critting mm-hmm. like mad. Yeah, you you were uh, you were all like crazy last I time. I was getting all them sixes. Yeah. And we decided that the best way to get Aaron to like us was to go murder her nephew, her yeah, her nephew, Corin, trash the butcher shop, and then come to her saying, We killed your opposition, you can start peddling our drugs. And oh, by the way, we had this horrible document that will get an assassination sent after you if we ever filed it, but we won't because you're going to sell our product. Yeah, that's how that's how most of my best friends and I uh, met: blackmail, murdering, just all Extortion. kinds of bad shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and because I said I would, Angus Beef Cow, in the fight, instead of defeating the bull, bell hooks, like shooting them and stabbing them, we decided to like throw off all, drop our weapons, take off all our armor, go barehanded against these armed bill hooks so that we can grapple them and hang them up and ble- bleed them for Satara. And in doing that, RC took her her uh RC took her fourth and final tick on the corrupted by demon blood clock. And I decided to take the ghost fighter special ability. Cause demon blood is antithetical to ghosts. <laughs> so hell's yeah. Nice. That's exciting. So you're like full Satan now, right? I, I I don't know. I think I'm just junior Satan. I think okay. I think I, I think there's still like levels to go up. <laughs> Vice president Satan. of Satan. <laughs> well, I mean, again, I think blood for the blood god. Thank you, Doctor. Is yeah. it Satan, a little harsh junior? There's just yeah, so many right? blood gods. Is the problem? There isn't just the one. We don't have it I easy. Just, yeah. I think th- I think there's more depths to plumb. There is all, all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cantor's all about plumbing the depths. <laughs> In like a metaphorical way. Right, sure. It's a metaphor. Um, yeah. For, for, for sex. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not literally about figuring out how deep things. No, forget that shit. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about that. Yeah. Like so we need to do payoff uh, because because there was a point when John said, oh, they're defending the back of the, the – of the, um, they're defending the back of the butcher shop. And we're like – why well there's something back there we're like well, we're gonna get that fucking something yeah. but we didn't say it on on camera but if there's coin to have been pillaged or other things to have yes, been pillaged it was pillaged it, mm. it it was their headquarters so presumably uh their lair if you want to put it that way uh, yeah yeah and we can get a bunch more money for strash to blow yeah <laughs> Come on, this is in character. It's it's Oscar blowing. It. That's so true. Let's, true. I'm, I'm, what's funny though? What's funny though? And this this came up. This came up on a thread about about blades. Generally, some people were talking about blood letters, and they were like, you know, I really like the show because you know everybody on it like really understands the rules and like knows how to play. And I was just like, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I just let Strash make all the decisions, and then I try to ruin them in character with my idiot. <laughs> And it works out great, but like no, yes, Strash can spend all the money. You you got it, man. But yeah. the, the, the your character, Oscar, Oscar is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I like it. It's I'm all I'm all about that dynamic. Um, but yeah, let's let's get I want let's get that money so that you can tell yeah. us what we're gonna do next. Yeah. So, um, payoff is a thing. Yeah. Let's open it and look. So the Bill Hooks were a, well, I guess they still are a tier two gang. Mm-hmm. So, I like it better when you talk about them in past tense. <laughs> well, they're, as we discovered last time, there's tier two and then there's tier like 2.1. <laughs> tier, like, tier 2B. Yeah. Oh, that's a good, that's a good point, John. Uh, Cantor specifically, well, we agreed, but this was really Cantor's motivation um, that we were going to take the place of the crows and that the bill hooks were going to be paying up to us. Like we would be their ward boss. Correct. And, and the intent there is to go basically tell the crows to go get fucked um, and that the bill hooks are not paying to us and then see if we can go to war on three fronts because why not? Or or Cantor's going to spin some magic with Lissa, but that's a that's another thing that's going on is that we are interjecting ourselves. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you you told them to stop paying their their fees up to the crows that they're supposed to be doing. Yes. Them to yeah. Stop doing that uh, to pay you instead, and you would take care of it. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> With the crows, <laughs> magic yeah. words. You know, there was another and, thing. That... Cantor had a hilarious little extra bit about like, well, if if we really have problems, we can just tell the crows that we didn't know anything about this. Exactly. <laughs> all, their, all 
their fault. Um, there, there was another thing that I told Roland I was going to do, and I, I rewatched the game and realized I forgot to do. So if this is something that I can slip in that was done, cool. But if it's something that would have changed the the negotiations, then I guess Arcee just forgot. Which is, I told Roland I would have them stop tormenting the magistrates because right now the bill right. hooks are torturing the magistrates and yeah. I want them instead to be peddling our drugs. But right. I didn't say that in the negotiation. But Sean, as a player, forgot about it. I, so, think, I think that's okay because you 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 have effectively did the thing that they were, like you, you resolved one of the problems. Like the leadership was kind of in question. It's one faction of the gang kind of wanted Tarvel out of jail. And so that's why they were going after- And we, and we murdered all of that faction? Well, I don't know if you, technically murdered all of them but you you put Aaron in charge in a way where she's not she doesn't want Tarvel to get out of iron hook uh and so cool yeah like okay cool. I, I, think, I think it's fine that that was included in the in what happened that's okay sounds good if it starts up again you know then you can yeah yeah well I don't I don't care if it does honestly we, we did the thing we said we were gonna do so it yeah. starts up again so you guys can decide so uh during the like, or yeah, I guess sort of, de sort of during, excuse me, the um, de Sitaran murder uh, meat hook incident. <laughs> That's a punchy name for it. <laughs> like corpse toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Some members of the gang were looting the headquarters uh, mm -hmm. and would have found uh, the the bill hooks vault of, of coin and, and, and goods and stuff vault you say yeah so coin you say <laughs> it's it's up to you guys so i um <laughs> breaking into the vault would be you know a couple days worth of trouble you know so like sort of during the negotiations with aaron mm -hmm. Are you robbing them of their treasury so that they can't continue really to operate as a gang effectively anymore, or or not 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 totally? But you would force them to like do take some drastic action to recover. I don't understand what the other option could possibly be. Like, uh, not, well, not we, to do that, but take our cut. Leave them, or, or right, leave them enough to function and take your cut. Like, I, I I think we could see this as sort of a two pronged. Ocean's Eleven style thing where like we already saw you guys having the conversation with Aaron and now we also see like the the rest of the Bloodletter gang like all just sweaty and grimy with like a huge drill that's like working on the vault combination like trying to drill it out and there they've got like lights set up and they've, they've been working day and night like trying to get the thing open. <laughs> um, yeah so would it have been possible for us to have broken into the vault before we met with Aaron? Uh, yeah yeah I, I think I think it's technically possible, and you, you could have decided what you were doing with the vault in any case. Right, because I think what I would like to have done was have taken all their money, and then as a gesture of good faith to Aaron, give some of it back uh, to say, right. here, all right, you can get started. Yeah. If that's a thing we could do. That is, that is a thing you could do. Uh, Much like how we cemented good relations with the lamp blacks when we took all the red sashes and then- Give her a them. portion back in product. Man, we on some Robin Hood shit now. We're taking people's money, redistributing the wealth back <laughs> to the people we took it from and mostly to ourselves is good. It's I have a very uh, limited I, understanding of how Robin Hood operated. Um, he so, robbed was yeah, Robin. apparently. He yeah. was he was a guy from the hood. I, I think and, what we should do yeah, he was a guy from the hood. And he robbed Robin. people. Robin yeah, he did best. Yeah. Um, uh, I like. I do like that idea though of honest. taking all their money and then giving some and being like, meh, here you go. Yeah, I don't think we should give it back exclusively in product because people need operational budgets. No, no, I don't no, think I mean, we should. A portion. Yeah, Just a portion. that's that's fair. So it's we give them to back. Incentivize them to start selling some of their money. Here, Aaron, which technically Aaron didn't control. Aaron didn't control the headquarters. So, in some sense, we're still offering her something that she didn't have. Okay. Yeah, direct control over. That is absolutely true. Well, yeah, because the real the real gift is like we dealt with your problem for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they so yes, we are cracking that vault and taking its taking its stuff. Okay, that, that, it's eight coin worth of money uh, and and valuables. Um, they they are they're partially an extortion kind of gang, so they have a lot of like 
people's wedding rings and jewelry and stuff like that that they've ripped off from people in oh man yes so you guys can decide how what you want to do with that i choose the most uh... i choose the most beautiful of the jewelries for myself and then the remaining jewelries can go out into the world i feel like this is a thing cantor has done for a long time oh yeah how I much rep I... do we have and how much do we need to advance so that i have some idea of how much we need to stash in the vault in order to achieve That's that a good question yeah word yeah well we should have gotten we have no rep right now okay um because we just advanced the strong and we had like one rep and i used it you're getting uh, right now let me get to i just marked it on the sheet cool so so we got a ways to go because yeah. we need what is it something like it's 12 11? 12 okay so minus you, one because we have a turf right? yep minus one because we have turf yeah so two and, means 11 minus two means we need nine more so we've got plenty of time all right cool yeah let's spend some cash yeah so i say we take six and give aaron two splitting it four ways three of us two for her. but i mean we could do any variation I'm I'm fine with uh, giving her more. Actually, I say we we take five, take four, give Aaron four, but we give her two of it in product. So it's it's some coin and some product. And what is? Although, I mean, that's that's half. Like what she yeah. didn't, she didn't she didn't do shit for this. This is free money. Fair, right? Like I don't. I'm half of free money. That's not. That's unreasonable. I got shot in the actual chest directly in my body there are still bullet chunks right, in how much my do you shit want to, how much do you want to give her zero but <laughs> but i will concede i will concede to like i mean two two i guess i guess quite here here's the thing and i i will i will defer mechanically to to y'all about this are we getting some kind of benefit out of this aside from like she's stoked because i don't give um, a fuck about other people's stokedness we well we we decided to set the uh the level of allyship with her at plus one right which was our choice yeah right and technically I think if, we're still kind of buds yeah and i think if we stiff her completely then that's an unreasonable okay. uh level think, to set ourselves at like so I, I think i think six and two is fine it okay. gives us the leverage to showcase that we've got the muscle and if we give her some product which is narrative because assumably we yeah, have if it's like if it's like one and one like I, I i'd like to do it all product because I, I i think we need to keep the bill hooks hungry right we can't give them enough that they can be like yeah let's go spend this on like guns and bombs and shit and go fight back we got to give them like they got to stay like a little desperate so that I'm uh, reading, yeah. we can keep them so we can keep them like you know, on Hungry. the ropes. Yeah, because yeah. if we if we give them too much, they'll just be like, "Awesome, let's go and fight back again." We don't have yeah. that okay time or energy so for that. I shit. think I I think I think we're at six and two. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that sounds right. Uh, John, is that is too adequate to keep the the ally uh, alliance that we had wanted to set? Yes. Um, okay. However, uh, they <clears throat> they are going to owe you to. Uh, which is that's how much they usually pay the crows um, on the next pay cycle, whatever, whenever that's coming up. Yeah, right. If, F fiscal at the end of the fiscal year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you're effectively giving them one and one, and like one one of them, one of the coin is product. You're basically saying like, you got a couple of weeks to double this because that's yeah. our because that's our tie. That's what you're gonna owe us. And if all you do is double it, then you then you get nothing. So you better quadruple it and then give us two. Right. Yeah. No, I think I think we give them two coin of operational budget, and I think we give them some of our stuff, not in the form of coin, but that's in the form of that is the product we keep because we don't we don't keep track of our product in coin, at least. No, in no, 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 no. So I think we're giving them two coin, and it's we're giving like them like a tier scale thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we have tier three level of product, so yep. I feel like that's yep. enough to give to several tier two gangs. Um, Your product is tier four now, I think. Well, it's we quality four, stuff. but our yeah. supply comes from a tier four. That's kind, of, that's kind of amazing. Tier four is like kind of a big deal. Yeah, yeah. it's it's quality is <laughs> tier four, but we specifically got. Leviathan Hunter oh, quantity right. yeah. minus one tier because right. we were doing per personal share. So, so that's right. Yeah. Um, so right. So yeah. So that that's enough. So if you you don't have enough product to cover both of your gang's territories, like the both the bill hooks and the blood letters, like all of your area. Mm -hmm. you know? But you can give them, like you have you have a surplus, right? Because you're tier two, you have three supply. Yeah. 
So yeah, you, you could give them your surplus uh, to, to sell. Um, uh, although you're also giving it to- We're them. giving it to Lamplex as well. So, so yeah, you're gonna, you're actually not gonna get everything out of your turf that you might otherwise get until you get your supply. Yeah, keep, keep the streets hungry, right? Like we well, wanna have, we wanna have uh, more turf and more junkies than we have products so that they're like itching for that shit. Cause we don't have, we don't have like somebody else peddling similar junk, right? Like, and that was, what was the name of that? What was the name of that stuff? That spark. pathetic crap, yeah, spark, right? Like, yeah, I guess if you wanna scrape the bottom of the get fucked up barrel, <laughs> sure. But it's better if people want it. Supply and so demand, man. I we, heard about we, those things. We definitely the want my guns. Supply. <laughs> <laughs> it's inscribed. Um, That's awesome. I went to we, business we, school, yo. <laughs> we definitely want to have enough product to distribute because this is how we want to gain control of all of Crossfit is by yes. having everybody come to us. So we're going to have to secure more product. Then is what it sounds like. We don't have enough with the tier three supply to maintain distribution from all you, three. All three I, I would say you have enough to like spread out right now, but but it's it's not enough to go Can deep. Can we? Like you could like thinly cover everyone for a little sure. while and then it'll run out. Yeah, well, in the in the of... neighborhoods in the neighborhoods that we like are not as worried about or whatever. Can we like step on this shit and and like cover everything? but have like less good or less safe versions of it, like out at the fringes. It is to quality four, which maybe is like way too good. Yeah. Pretty like, I don't, I don't think, I think at this point we start, if we've got a product that good, I forgot it was so awesome. I would love, I would love it if we were like, yeah, this is a top shelf shit. And then for these, like the street trash out here, you get yeah. the like heavily stepped on garbage drugs. Well, and we, 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 talked about refining it in the workshop and i think part of refining it can also be diluting it i was about right? to say what is the opposite of refining it and let's well that. it's yeah. yeah and and we already know what our top tier stuff is it's the tattoos yeah. our bottom tier stuff is the the grunge the, the swamp well, grunge and, and that the you great inject. yeah the great thing about the great thing about that is we can use Cut that, that shit. shit we should give that we should give that shit to the the fucking bill hooks and stuff and that's just going to destabilize their whole business right it's going to make their whole neighborhood all fucked up uh, until we come in and save them. And we're like, look, you've, you've earned the good shit. Um, that's an excellent point, Cantor. I think because your, your stuff is so high quality, I think we can assume that it's, it's gradiated across your supply. There's a, a tiny amount of, for, for the tier four tattoos. Yeah. A much larger portion for, I mean, even tier one would be okay, right? It would be sure. compared to street drugs. Yeah. Um, t you guys were had quality zero stuff to start. That was fucking people up real bad. <laughs> Um, yes. So, yeah. yeah, I think I think yeah that that's a great point. We can look at it that way. But you you have this this range and maybe especially yeah. new members that are coming on board, they get the tier one product to sell uh, before until they prove themselves and like yeah. There, there's no second tattoo shop yet, right? Hell like, yeah, no. I mean nobody. You yeah, want. you haven't franchised that shit out. Yep. Yep. Awesome. I have a question. Um, one of the things that, that Oscar has been kind of planning, and this is a thing that uh, we'll talk about during downtimes, is I've actually been thinking about what else I could do with our product in order to make it more accessible to the general populace. Um, and I came up with some ideas. And so if we made something that was a little less, um, like it didn't require a tattoo shop, but might be able to be taken by a person themselves, um, that was, that was a that was a thing that I was looking at doing so that that would give us access to a completely different market, which is a much more corners type deal. Yeah, dude, not not everybody needs la cocaina. We can fucking sling crack in the bad parts of town. And if you've got some some uh, like chemistry project that you wanna you wanna do, I'm I'm all about that. Okay, that's yeah. that's probably what's going to be happening uh, during this downtime because it's something that I've been thinking about about how our methods of actually giving people the things that we're giving um, is limiting our markets. So yeah. uh, I will be, we have a workshop now and mm -hmm. I have an independent crew of adepts that can help me in addition to Quellen, who is an expert. Uh, so between the three of us, I think that we'll be I able am, to- I'm shedding a single beautiful tear that smells like money right now for this plan. Uh, it's, I'm so proud of this. There's idea. a- there's a smuggler's crew ability that you might be interested in that is, uh, I forget what it's called, all, all hands maybe? It, it, you can assign a crew to do downtime actions for you. Uh, so that might be a thing you could use. Yeah. 
I'll get extra down. Definitely like something that. I think about. Yeah. Uh, well, let's let's always good. Let's finish off our our payoff. Uh, yeah. We got we took six coin of the eight. We gave her two coin plus we gave her some of our entry level uh, product to start slaying in. Mm -hmm. uh, we got two rep. We also get some heat. How much heat do we have? How much heat are we getting? Uh, I mean, I'm sure there was no heat because, like, no one, like, yeah. I mean, the blue coats don't want to mess with that shit. Hooks. They're terrified of that shit. You didn't just, like, Spirit wardens do. You didn't savagely assault a neighborhood butcher shop in broad daylight and then hang everyone on meat hooks while doing some kind of demonic. Right. Activity. That's normal activity in Dust Wall. <laughs> It's starting to become that, uh, which I think is why the general spirit warden presence is getting heavier and heavier in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, we got to work on that. The more I... the more work the spirit wardens and the blue coats are doing, then the less focus they can be on any one thing. So chaos is good for us. <laughs> right, that's a good justification. <laughs> There's a SWAT team on every corner, and Kendra's like, "This is working out great for it's us." Per yeah, it's perfect, right? <laughs> like, imagine you got ten cops, right, and you got ten people committing crimes. That's only one cop per criminal. It's perfect. <laughs> I don't want just, ten cops just, on my ass. You just crisscross each other all the time. The cops yeah. get all mixed up. I mean, everything. That's fall. right. Yeah. More people to blame for shit. Sweet chase scenes. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Everything's going great. Little Scooby Doo scenes, you know, people going do 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 do. I don't want that. Yeah, I'm yeah. about it. Uh, or yeah, answer Sean for heat. For heat. Yeah, cool. I can take that. Uh, for the viewers at home, was that um, just based on it being loud and chaotic, or were there additional things for hitting a well-connected target or any of that jazz? Uh, not not particularly well-connected. Okay. The looks just. Right. just mm -hmm. made it. So we're up to seven heat, so we should uh, consider reducing it as one of our downtime actions, but we got a lot Absolutely. of points. So, um, because otherwise we're, we'll probably have wanted. Yep. Yeah, we probably want to do that. Uh, oh, oh, and is that, is that modified via both, uh, yeah. via our power and our turf? No, I haven't. But uh, so you're at war, so it's, it's actually five. Okay. I forgot. You're still right. Ooh, puts us dangerously close. Yeah. Uh, it it's not modified by our cover operation, um, which is minus two, and it's not modified by our what is it? We have another, we have another one. Uh, yeah. High society. High society. Yeah. So we're gonna lose three right off the bat, but we do that during downtime. So first we have to yeah get all the way up to eight heat. Is that eight? Oh, we're one at, away. we're one away. Yeah. One away. And, and so then it you... actually, it would have been seven, except you guys have the crow's veil thing. Yeah, we're at eight. We're at eight right now. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, so now you roll the entanglements, and then we can go after after the entanglements right. roll. Then we can go. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We'll go down three automatically. I have I have the entanglement. All right. So I'm dropping it by three. So we're down to five. Sweet. All right. Yeah, well, since we've been talking about it, I think going after uh, going after some more turf or a surplus cash or a local graft, another another uh, claim, would be a good way for us to represent our. Yeah, what do we got? We got, we got some. Out. We got some good options, right? Because we. Dear John, would you like to tell us who locally owns local graft? Because that's plus two coins on shows of force, uh, or socialize, which is pretty much most of the jobs that we run. Blue coats. Eh, fucking jerks. Blue coats. Yep. There is only one thing we do to them, and it is not socialize. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the blue coats are the local graft people in your neck of the city. Cool. Yep. Awesome. How do you guys feel about going to war with the blue coats? Uh, I think we should address the Aruvians first. Really? Or we just say. You could be at war with multiple factions. You're still only at one action. <laughs> yeah. How about we do our downtime and then decide what our score Yeah, word. Sounds like a plan. I actually have ideas for the Aruvians. Uh, you got ideas about all kind of shit. Yeah, you got lots of ideas. That's kind of my job. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Right, cool. I feel really good about it. Who wants to take their first... Hang on. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So, what? before you do that, oh, uh, so. the, the entanglement manifests in a way that you hear about. Uh, ah, nice. Through, through, through the word on the street. Um, the... You hear that the bill hook? Oh, let's uh, let's flip over to the map real quick. Um, yeah, yeah, I did it. I let me get Cantor out of the way. If you're looking at the map right now, I'm gonna mm -hmm. pull my magic trick. 
But ow. I'm writing down the phrase entanglement manifest because that sounds like a part of a spaceship and I'm going to use that <laughs> later. So if you saw, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'm... Oh, look at that sweet shit right there. I love how the red is spreading. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So oh, it feels so good. I'll, I'm, I'm going to do it again just to, just to make it visible again. So this is how it used to be. Just the old and busted shit. The, the, Hold on a second. I'm looking at the wrong place. Now, now, now I'm ready. You do okay, it again. Cool. Press the button. The gold area was the crows and the light blacks alliance, and the blue area was the grinders and the bill hooks and the red yeah. area. Well, butters. Now this is what's happened with the syndicate. Oh, it's too oh, good. It's too good. Oh so, yeah. So now you you may notice that some of the gold areas, which were crow, crow and lamp black, are now red because they're lamp black and blood letter, and some of the blue areas, which were grinder and bill hook, are now red because they are bill hook and blood letter. That's right. We move it up in the world. That is That's the, the new syndicate wanted, territory. These are our hunting grounds. Yeah, and so right here, uh, as you may recall, this is the Bill Hooks HQ. Mm -hmm. Um, where the the butcher shop was sort of that triangular piece on the east side of that. Building. Yeah. Uh, the Bill Hooks have not moved back in there, and you've heard various things on the street. You've heard that. Uh, the Bill Hooks um, took over. Uh, the the grinders had a um, goat stable and like a coach house uh, that they were using for something. Uh, and the Bill Hooks like threw them out of there uh, and and have started fortifying it and like doing shit there. Uh, the butcher shop has become in the in the week or so since the event uh, has become like common knowledge that no one no one goes over there anymore um people say that whoever owned the building on the west side there has abandoned it uh you it most of it burned it, it, from the fire oil bomb we did throw a lot of fire oil in there there were just timbers but <laughs> the hanging bodies um rotted almost overnight people say there's all kinds of stories um weird noises have been heard from over there overnight blood barnacles grew over everything uh the floor rotted out and the upper stories fell down into the canal. Um, this black cloud of miasma has kind of seeped out of the hole there. Um, the spirit wardens supposedly sent some people around, but everyone knows the story of old Cobb, who's this sort of um, junk man in crow's foot that goes around with his cart and like collects old bits of junk and like sharpens people's scissors and that, that sort of thing. Um, his cart is sitting outside on the street in front of the place and no one has seen old Cobb for a week. Weirdly, um, real estate prices are up. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. Yeah. And so people are saying now that it's cursed, it's haunted and the, the rumblings on the street is a, a, as you would expect, given your reputation that the blood letters, blood letters are behind it, that every, that uh, you know you i think you guys are less known for this in general you're known you know as killers who are into weird shit um that's your reputation but the drug dealing side of things is kind of like somewhat separate in a way you, you have your customers and your clientele that just just buy from you but now it's it's spreading this this whole rumor about like oh those people they don't care they're they're in they're into dark stuff it's spreading around the district People are worried. Um, there's this big public display of the corrupted aftermath of your of your murder there that it just isn't going away. It's like all twisted and dark and horrible. This all sounds great. Yeah. Well, but we want our clients to want to buy our stuff. We don't want to scare everybody off. But I mean, not off. Know. But the rest <laughs> of that sentence, yeah, yeah. <laughs> RC, RC. That's why it's called a front. We are the back. They are the front. The shops yeah. present a perfectly palatable interface. Yeah, but they're obviously that 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 uh, that visage, that visage, that that facade is 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 crumbling. So I don't know what kind of Aruvian words you're using in this sentence, but you guys speak whatever we speak in. Speak Imperial, motherfucker. People are gonna figure shit out. They're figuring it out, and once Ooh. they know that the people who murder people. And hang and 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 uh, 
and uh, hang them on hooks are the same ones that are dealing their drugs. They're going to be yeah. hype about that shit. They're going to be like, yeah, I get drugs from the scariest motherfuckers in town. Yeah. They're going to be yeah. proud of that shit. Right. <laughs> Remember that our best playing clients you want though, drug, are nobles. You want to buy, buy drugs from a bunch of babies? Yeah, but the nobles love that shit even more. They come okay. down here to get their ass scared off. That's the point. All right. right? As long They're as we gonna... keep it fun for them. Listen, I, nobles will like what I tell them to like, okay? It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> it yeah. is. Yeah. 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 Nice. Uh, so, so, so yeah. John, if we go by it, if we visit it, um, is it is it fucked up? I mean, beyond is, is there lingering effects from what we've done? Um, yeah, Farsi like you know took a, a route home. Uh, past that place or something like mm -hmm. yeah, you would tell like it's the it's it's caved in the floors are all like pitched downward into the underground canal um they're covered in this black growth this like oily black uh substance that goes up the walls and there are these blood barnacles all over the place that are sort of weeping black water and and blood into the canal um it looks infected or co corroded um, and you peer down over the edge, you know, the, the stone kind of crumbles and bits of wood break off. And uh, there is this black foggy cloud just kind of like swirling around over the waters and it reminds you of the corpse toilet. Yeah, I was gonna say this, <laughs> quite a bit, uh, this seems familiar. So what it seems like we need to do is build on top of this. Just leave this here. <laughs> Just put something on top, and that's all good. Then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like dealing, like dealing with nuclear waste. You just <laughs> find a mountain and bury that well, shit. <laughs> my point is, I'm not particularly opposed. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I think you think this can be uh, addressed. Um, yeah, people are avoiding it. Um, they're they're worried. Right. Everyone knows that weird shit happens in in the city but this is just sitting out here being horrible is the is there is there a focal point of that worry that can be addressed or is it just sort of this ambient thing where as long as this ugly mess is here it's going to freak people out I, yeah i think that's currently the situation okay the general unease uh, all right and no so one RC... about it the spirit wardens seem busy with other stuff uh so they they haven't done anything with it either uh, so RC will talk just to Oscar about this then um, and say, I think that the butcher shop has been claimed. And I kind of like look like aside to my tattoo briefly, like look the sands and we shouldn't let that be exposed to the spirit wardens. We need to cover that up. you agree? I have a plan. Great. I'll take care of it. <laughs> All right. I like this. Oscar. <laughs> yeah, I like this this go-getter. This this hot young go-getter here with his plans and his chemistry. Yeah. I'm about this. Yeah. Oscar Oscar gently puts a hand on your arm and says with perfect confidence, "This is why I keep my persona separate." And just smiles politely and taps you twice on the arm and then wanders off and comes to himself. Someday. Yeah, I mean, I think RC knows that you know she's talking about, like, I don't want to wreck this thing that we made for Satara. I just don't want Spirit Wardens to find it. So she's totally happy that with, with Oscar, like, she, she looks reassured and is going to go on her business. Uh, well, that was easy. Cool. Let, let Oscar deal with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, that's the solution. Yeah, I like how it's. it's weird, I like how it's, it's expanding. Weird, thing. Of course, you let Oscar deal with it. <laughs> it's expanding now. So now, not only do I not know that Oscar's doing anything, but I don't even know that there was a thing to be done. Like, that's true. It's perfect. <laughs> well, I, 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 yeah, I just, I know that like, Cantor will be like, yeah, this is awesome. Let them be terrified, uh, and it won't quite come across. So, it's good. Let Oscar do his thing, and then yeah. Yeah, that's a dead end conversation with Kendra. You know <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Try, try explaining quantum physics to me. I dare you. 
Um, cool. So that's dealt with. Uh, yep. Downtime? Yep. Yep. Sweet. Who's first? Um, I'm going to have know. a bucket full of downtimes, so... Well, yeah, uh, I need. I, yeah, I, I want to do some serious de-stressing. I would say we're uh, all we're all stressed to impress here. Like we, I think we should totally. Arcee, you have the least stress. Uh, I have eight, my friend. I know you have the you have the least of the three of us. Oh my goodness! Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. The question. Uh, so before before we start, the the quick question that I have is: Where is our next action? Do we want to start cutting into the gold? Uh, do we want to? figure out how to acquire turf or do we want to deal with some personal problems aka um, either personal backstory things or more likely the spirit world uh well go the grinders and let them know what the the cost of business is in the yeah the or the Aruvians. um or those i guess i i guess i can simmer on the Aruvians for a little while I'm okay with going with dealing with that. Um, I do have a concrete plan for it, uh, but it's a slightly more diplomatic solution and not necessarily a full frontal show of force. Mm -hmm. um, it's completely up to uh, completely up to the game, though. I don't think that we can just light the embassy on fire. Well, we can. We could yeah. That's, we should. That's we're capable of it for <laughs> sure. Uh, Are we, do you want me to? I'll, I'll do it. We can light the embassy on fire. I'm like already yeah. on my uh, way out the so, door. So, so let's. let's Good idea, about, Oscar. <laughs> that uh, is a great plan. Priorities, priorities for the syndicate slash crew. Um, do we want to make? Sh do we want to contest the the crows for the position of the authority? Uh, do we want to go against the grinders who are the other contestants? Uh, what do the grinders do, uh, John or? Sean or they, they help they help uh, gay men find dates i think yeah. is the they they uh yeah, it's not fun. so they, they they sell spark they do um some local smash and grabs but they're not interested in either of those things their motivation is to go to war with the empire uh and oh, free lost port right. They, they have political aspirations that have nothing to do with us. So well, they, they're just using they're just using this they happen to be in our neighborhood and they're they're using the underworld to fund Right. They're, okay. Their war. They're, they're revolutionaries, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So the thing is, we could help them and get them out of our way in the same action. Like we could, we could, if we could help them get what they wanted, they would leave because they don't need to be I here. Mean, but I don't know if we want to help. I feel like these guys. I have like... no intention of freeing Lockport. Yeah. I mean, I don't really give a fuck about what their political shit is, but they sound like patsies. They sound like suckers, right? Like they would be great to pin blame on if we ever get under some heat to be like the terrorists did it. It wasn't us. Um, I don't know how big of a bite are they taking from our, our, our business? Cause they're also like, I figure we just pick the smallest gang that isn't us. And then we just kick the shit out of them until there's nobody smaller than us. Well, that's, that's blitz and blue on the map right now Yeah, is, is their section in the bell hooks. So oh, yeah, let's keep getting rid of that blue shit. <laughs> yeah. All right. We can go to the grinders. Hey, John, do the grinders have any claims that we could take? Uh, let me look. Probably. Because local graft is tasty, but I don't think we want to go after the blue coats right now. Yeah, I have uh, I, I have a downtime action to ask a weird question about that, which is mostly, what do the cops want that they're willing to trade for local graft? Because perhaps we can take turf from someone else and swap. Sure. I would rather go to war with someone else than necessarily the blue coats if we can actually yeah, get their trade yeah, yeah. Turf for turf. And I'm okay taking her from Bill Hooks or whoever. Uh, the grinders definitely have turf turf you could take. Yep. Um, that smells pretty good. So the question I have for Adam, among other things, is do we want to stomp out the grinders or do we want to try and forge an alliance, try to like forge them into the syndicate the way we did with the uh i mean i think i think if we if we continue the way we continue yeah i mean it's the whole like all all gangs in the syndicate are equal but we're better than you right like we want to we want to snowball this equals shit. or something yeah, yeah we're, we're we're the boss of bosses and they're all our underlings and they're equal to each other um yeah i i i think extending them the the mailed fist of invitation um is, is probably a good call 
Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I think that they're not interested. I don't think they're going to want to get tied up. I mean, in we us don't. It's not about. Bigger... It's not about their interest, right? We're not asking them to go on a date. We're telling them if you operate in this neighborhood, you are either part of the syndicate or get the fuck out or time to die, right? Like, because they can't. They can't just do as they please. These, yeah. We, you these... want to fight the war for Lockport at the same time that you're fighting the war in Duskfall? Yeah. Or... You know, just... Exactly. You know, it will help I you just... lose that war fighting us. I just feel like instead of coming to them with the same deal we did with the see, we had a we had a we had a carrot for Erin, which was getting her out of the shit, the legal snafu with her brother and killing Horan. I think we need to still I th we, we we always have the stick, but the carrot for them could be if we get them a supply of guns let me, or other munitions. Yeah, let me let me posit let me posit an alternative strategy. Normally we go in with the carrot and the stick. I suggest we go in with two sticks and we hit them with both sticks. <laughs> Let's paint a stick to look like a carrot. <laughs> and then put yeah. a stick in their mouth. And they um, go to yeah, I mean, bite it. I, I, and they go shit. As a as a, a as a player escaping from Cantor's vortex of shit for a second. Um yeah, yeah like I, I get that it would be a harder thing. Um I think we're on a roll in the sense that like we've established some power and this is a good time to be like, what's up, motherfuckers? We're, this is our neighborhood, as you can clearly now see, right? Everybody's yeah. getting scared of us. You know we're scary individuals. I get that you have political motivations, but either like ditch your turf and just give it to us right now, go away, because you can't do that shit here without our approval, or you join, you join the team. You jump on board for the big win. Um, I, I don't think, yeah. I mean, I don't think we can let them right. just kind of operate like for nothing like that sounds i agree like crazy talk okay. and, I, and i think that that's um there's two pieces that we should probably consider one of which is that the spirit warden seem to be ignoring them and their set sales of spark which i don't know what kind of deal they have there the other question is if we kick them real hard as puppies are they going to run to the crows and then we but i think the showdown with the crows was coming anyway so we might as well start it now i'm with you let's do this yeah, and I mean, yeah. I think the thing with the crows is we got to come at them from a position of strength. So if we've already transitive property, if we've already kicked the shit out of everybody else in the district, then the crows need to deal with us as as equals, right? Like, yeah. you have right. a couple, uh, you have a couple clocks, like mechanically in the game speaking, and also like in metaphorical terms with the gang, right? Like you've you've made this move. Uh, any day now, the crows are not going to get their pay. From the bill hooks yeah. and someone is going to ask somebody a question and that someone is going to go we don't have to pay you we're in the syndicate and the crows are going to be like what the fuck is the syndicate yeah like, oh it's uh this new gang that's taking over crow's foot the area that you control and have controlled for hundreds of years so that conversation is going to happen like sometime real soon yeah, yeah. so uh, where do we want to be when that conversation ha happens yeah. Do we want to be fucking with the grinders, like we beating want, them for turf? We want everybody else in the district to at least be afraid of us. Okay. Right? So that so that when the crows come, if the crows are like, come on, everybody, let's get these blood letters. Everyone's like, no, they're scary. No, fuck. Stay away. Like, we're out. Right? We, we don't want them to get any backup from, from anyone That's else. That's fair. Oh, I like that. RC, RC is totally, RC is like nonplussed about taking out the grinders, but about weakening the yeah, crows. Man. Hold. Yep. Cause that's how that's how that's how a weak ass motherfucker operates, right? They look for the toughest, biggest person to hide behind, and we got to be that person so that they don't add to the ranks of the people we're fighting. Um, you know, okay. we, we got to step, we got to step on them and stand on their shoulders so we can fight the crows eye to eye. Right. <laughs> if I've if I've seen anything of value, it's because I stepped on the shoulders. Exactly. Yeah. Bunch of weak ass. Right. Let's mountains. do some downtime. We know what we're gonna do. Pile of crushed giants to stay. RC's not completely on board with the plan, but she's close enough. And that's that's all that's all I ever needed. Close yeah. enough. How this thing operates, really? Yeah. yeah right. Exactly. Horseshoes, <laughs> hand grenades, and right. every plan Cantor has ever had. I got I got some I got some things. I'm gonna go unless somebody yeah. else is ready to go. Um. Okay, RC is going to go. I want to de stress and I want to work on a long term project. So I'm going to spend some coin on this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have all but I have all but one coin in my um, in in my of my second bar of stash. So I'm going to move one coin out of my normal coin. Hot. And I'm going to fill up this now. At the end of this downtime, it's going to fill up anyway. But I want. To lifestyle for this long-term action, 
Um, so we see RC like talking to somebody, signing some, like talking to some official looking person, signing some papers and getting handed a, a ring of keys. And then like that's at, it's at the docks. And then, um, uh, and then later I'm going to go to visit my husband. Okay. Yep. Interesting. Yep. And I want to get him out of the house rather than visit him in the house. I mean, I want to, I don't mind going to the house because we have access through um, um, Anya. What? What's up? <laughs> Just a long, meaningful stare. Yeah. I think John is looking. Actually. Oh, what's that? Your video is frozen there for a second. Oh, oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, Strash's was not uh, not your yeah. Sean. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we didn't hear you, Josh. We just heard um and then that was it. I, I, I was just uh like I, I I was making notes and writing down my downtimes, and then all of a sudden Archie's like, I'm gonna go visit my husband. And I think I was just like, um <laughs> what? <laughs> so uh, all right, cool. Uh, I look forward to seeing how your downtimes go because I know nothing about this and I want to know. Yes. Yeah. All right. Carry on. Yeah. So uh, can I? Can I? Can I still get? I mean, I, I have a. I have access to Kill Manor. Last I checked, assuming things haven't changed. Yeah, you do. Yep. Cool. Um, I think the way we left things was Julian, uh, like, was done caring about the problem with you and all of that stuff. Um, yeah. But when you show up for sex, then you get what you want, basically. So yep. um, I think that's probably still true. I'm a little tempted to make a fortune roll about it. Sure. Um, because I don't know exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I left off with there's going to be a clock to get Julian back that I had no ticks on. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to see. Okay. Let's find out. I think he's, I think he's potentially trouble, troublesome. <clears throat> uh, wait, do I not? One more. Actually, um, before you roll, uh, I don't want to see him in the house, so I'm going to go in at some point when I think he's not there and leave him uh, a note to come to come meet me because I really want to see him outside of the. Uh, want to I want him to meet me down at the docks. Meet you down at the docks, okay? Yeah. So if it, should he be bringing you know a bunch of blue coats and whatnot, it's a lot easier for them to. I'll jump RC and Clever in the docks than it is in his house. So more opportunity for him to screw this up. Sure. Uh, all right. Likelihood of sexy time with Julian. Dice roll. Go. Well, there you go. That, that would be a six. Awesome. It's on. <clears throat> Fantastic. So uh, I meet him outside this rainy stoop, uh, presumably. Yep. And this is in... Let's see, just to the right of, so it's actually not in the docks, it's in Crow's Foot. Oh, okay. Eh, yeah, it's in Charter Hall, right on the across the bridge from Crow's Foot. Oh, yeah, I see. Um, and um, I meet him and be, and I, and I, and then like, when I, when he sees me, what's, what's his reaction when he sees me? I mean, I look like RC, my clothes are slightly nicer, but, but in general, I haven't changed substantially. Yeah, you actually fit in in Charter Hall okay uh, on, along the Charter Wall here. There's, you know, all these little um, student-y kinds of areas and um, pretty eclectic mix of uh, the social classes. Um, and Julian dresses down a little bit uh, to come to meet you. He's not wearing his, like, full noble regalia. He's wearing, like, very nice common clothes. If you look cool. up, you'd see that it was like very well made, but he, he looks kind of like an ordinary citizen. He has a heavy cloak on from the rain and uh, his sword and pistol under his cloak. And he, the, the coach driver like waits at a distance 
um, just across the bridge there, and he hustles over to where you are uh, to meet him. Um, you feel on your arm, you feel the Leviathan tentacles of your tattoo sort of swirl and... Yeah, I and think I'm wearing, you know, she's not wearing her like normal coat, so I actually have sleeves right now, but yeah, feel yeah. them underneath the sleeves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the sleeves can get rolled up later on. Um, when I, when I, when he comes, I, uh, I say, let's move. Um, I say, uh, come with me. Um, I won't, I won't, don't, your, your, your coach can wait here. We won't, we won't go far. I mean, and I'm six, so he, he, yeah. So I'm going to lead it without belaboring this too long. So I'm going to lead him a little ways across the bridge and then up some stairs and like up to the, like from the mezzanine level above it. And this is okay with you at le layer at level two. rc has been doing these sort of real estate deals. Um, and at level two lifestyle, uh, she turns the lock and opens it to an apartment that's on the Charter Hall closed foot bridge with okay. like a look down onto the canal below. Uh -huh. Is that is that level two lifestyle? Is that is that legit? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yep. Can I have a private abode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like not furnished at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or or if it was it was like the previous furnishing so i imagine things don't don't necessarily get emptied out yeah it has a it has a bed frame with like a straw mat on it um, awesome somebody left behind four walls a window and a surface upon which to bone <laughs> <laughs> everything that's, that's... a house needs yeah so rc's rc looks at him and i say uh, what do you think and um it's not keel manor but it's not bad. And I want to put ticks on my get Julian back clock. And then I want to have sex with them. Um, so how, what do you, what do you want to make him feel here? I want to make him feel like this is a place that we can move in together and he doesn't need his dad. Oh, I see. It's this it's, is a this is a home. It's not connected to the gang turf. It was, doesn't. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 Like, no, this isn't as nice as Kill Manor, but it's a pretty nice. Pl it's pretty nice digs. I can be your sugar mama. You don't need your dad. Uh, that's interesting. You know, there's a room for the kids. <laughs> there's Charter <laughs> Hall right there. Uh. Yeah. Huh. I know I know Fancy's feathers. I gotta drop that stress. But RC lives on stress. That's 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 what her fuel is, is being in <laughs> stress. Besides, I'm about to get busy with my husband. At least that's the plan. Yeah, okay. Um long term project and and de stressing all in one scene. Yep. Uh yeah, I I'll I'll think about how Julian feels here, but I think I think this is a good first step along the path, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's see how it goes. So, um, so I, I could roll consort, which I think this could be, but I also think it would make sense to roll lifestyle if that um, seemed fitting to you to put, uh, put yeah to put to put because uh, that's literally what I'm doing. You're saying, look, I can afford to take care of you. You don't need to worry about. Um, you know, your inheritance. I th yeah, I think lifestyle's fine. Cool. So I'm gonna roll um, style. <laughs> roll, roll skirmish. Roll skirmish. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. So that's two ticks. Yep. On the Jillian will take me back. That's fine. I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna uh, de-stress with him. I'm gonna de-stress with him. Yeah, talking about yeah. him like he's like he's a loofah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come here, de-stress me. Or <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean once once he's like looked around. I mean, assume I assume this has a moderately positive reaction. Like it doesn't have an immediate like like he's disgusted reaction, right? No, I think he's. Uh, his reaction is non-committal, and yeah. he 
is willing to de-stress with you right now, but like he doesn't he doesn't show you anything. He's not like willing to encourage this or have an argument or whatever. So he doesn't it doesn't show on his face however he's feeling about it. Um, but he doesn't also he doesn't, he doesn't say like what's wrong with you. This is yeah. So, this is, what are you thinking? Yeah. We'll count that as progress. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> That's not cool. nothing. Sounds yeah. good. Well, uh, and because we've sort of asserted that RC needs to control people when she's having sex, at some point, uh, she like basically as he's like touring around and like he hasn't responded fast enough, she's just like enough of this and throws him across the room, and uh, that's when the the de-stressing begins. Uh, so she asks for his acceptance about the house, but she doesn't ask him for anything beyond. That. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, and so I'm going to spend a coin to do this yep. um, because I, that was my one downtime action was that. Yeah. You got to keep up your lifestyle. With All me. right. So I clear four. Whoops. Why is his zero dice? I should have two dice, but that's fine. Oh, it just, oh, that's weird. Uh, two is your lowest. Yeah. Right, but it says zero dice take the lowest. It's fine. I can I can take the four. But... You can take the four. Yeah. Yeah. It it rolled the right number of dice, but just yeah. click it again just for fun, just to see if it was a weird bug or something. It still says zero dice. That's that was weird. a, that was a yeah. good roll, though. I like That's that result, one. though, John. <laughs> In the alternate universe where you rolled that one, good good stuff. All right. Uh, uh, hang on. Don't use a our crits, John. Come no. on. Just gonna roll it. There's an unlimited amount of them. They're great. Don't worry. <laughs> there were last episode, seriously. Oscars works. I don't know why yours is messed up, Marcy. Mm -hmm. um, let me hang on, let me try this. Yeah. I mean, it's not Oh, you're, you're wrecking my you're wrecking <laughs> my dots, John. You know. I'm just gonna test something. Your character dies. <laughs> how how does that well. feel? Okay, I was just testing. I how put him fun. back. I put him back. Yeah. <laughs> you are in the RPG. Let's talk about how you feel when I kill your character. Exactly. Now write it down on a index. Oh, card. I did expired. Yeah. You want me? To, you want me to try now? Or are you trying? I'm doing it. Oh, there it works. There you go. I think. I think what may have happened is uh, when I I translated to the new sheets and those dots like automatically followed. Yeah. So I didn't touch your dots. I think maybe it didn't register that they were actually uh, there. Ah, yeah, yeah. It did yeah, that yeah. that database thing where it wasn't a zero or a one. It was a yeah. eh? <laughs> a null value. Null, no, yeah. yeah. All right. Stupid null value. It could be good. Uh, yeah. Cool. But four. We can count the first roll if you want. You four. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll take it. And uh, cool. So I'm down to three stress, and um, I have other things I want to do, but I think I can shift the uh, spotlight over to someone else. Let's take cool. Um, I, I definitely need to de-stress. That's a thing that I need to do. Do you guys um, want to take a break, or should we just go through the downtime and finish that up? Let's just do that. We might as well just finish the, the actions. Um, what, okay, so you were you were saying, um, Sean, that we're at the end of downtime. Your stash is going to go up. What is? Can you help me understand why that is? Oh, I have a, a special move oh, called a little right. something on the side yeah. that at the end of downtime, I get plus two stash. And I, I, I wanted to show that I was you know, at two lifestyle and it just didn't quite line up. So I decided to just throw one coin in stash. Yeah. I've got three coin and I'm, I'm two away from my stash being at the next thing. Um, also you guys have a vice thing, uh, turf. Ah, right. Which we'll yeah. handle once we do a little bit of like heat. Yeah. I think we're going to reduce heat before at we end of downtime. You'll get more coin out of that. Yeah. Well. Yes. Okay, good. Well, yeah. I'm going to use, so it doesn't, it doesn't cost me anything like action economy wise to like move stuff from coin to stash. That, that direction is fine. The other direction is two to one. So if you want to pull stash out, it costs... no, I'm going to put, I'm going to put two in, uh, then I'll have one more if I want to do another action. Um, right. That's how that works. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so I've got, I've got Revka on call to like hook my shit up. Um, and I feel like as exhilarating as getting shot in the chest was, I need to affect a more, uh, martial style. We're, 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 we're entering this very like kind of aggressive phase where I'm finally getting to just like bust down doors and shoot people to death. Um, 
and and people are starting to like know that like we're we're scary i feel like i need to start looking the part um so i think what i want is i i probably spend some time like we see we see fish out of water haig in like i don't know like a library or some shit um with a bunch of like and probably just like talking too loud and being really demanding of of the like librarians and being like yeah, no, this opera sucks. Give me one with more killing, and like getting them to show me a bunch of uh, a bunch of different uh, different operas, so that I can go to Revka and be like, this one, it has the most people dying in it. I want to see the costumes from this shit. Give me like you know the 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 story of the you know the Dark King of Akaros or whatever. I want to I want something that gives me like a real like regal kind of Vlad the Impaler look um, that I can incorporate my my kind of armor jam into. Um, right. I want, I want, I'm tired of like hiding my guns amidst my finery. I want them to be fashion forward. I want to look like, uh, like a scary motherfucker. Um, and, uh, yeah. And I think that's what I do. I think I, I spend some time like working around that so that the next time we go into this fight, I'm wearing something that's appropriate both to fight in and to be, uh, regal and, and scary and impressive. You yeah, should, yeah, yeah. You should and take the Revka. savage ability at some point out. I mean, it seems very fitting. For... Yeah, that's true. It'll be good for you. Um, Revka, like, she's... Um, <laughs> for some reason, I I picture her personality as... Uh, uh, oh, man, I should really should know her name. The the costume designer from The Incredibles. From The Incredibles? Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, too. She's, like, she's tiny and has some very strong opinions about things. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. No, no, no cool. And serious, yeah. Yeah. And but despite that, she she's normally like very cool with you, and is and is just like, yes, we will do it. It will be beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, but as as you bring this up, her eyes get kind of big, and she and she gestures, and her place is still kind of in disarray, um, but in this very rich way. Like she has bolts of Aruvian silk that are like, she, oh, I have too many of them, you know, like <laughs> they're like a huge pile, all these different fabrics and designs, and. Um, some some pieces she brought from uh, old opera shows that were disused. So she has like this giant, like half of a huge carved stone horse's head made out of paper mache that they yes. use. It's like two stories tall in her. In I her love it. Board. Well, the thing I think the thing that Cantor loves about like Revka generally and kind of the vibe that she brings is that he he whether he's acknowledge able to acknowledge it himself or not everything that's good is big and and like yeah. larger than life and more real than real like there does Dus well and and the the city around you is like boring and dull and you see the same shit every day and Cantor wants to be that that thing that when people see him they're like whoa that that guy is like that guy has a whole other, in his shoes he's a whole other thing <laughs> and that's like being around this kind of theatrical space um, and, and the funny thing is, I bet you, I bet you like Cantor's never, he never been to the opera or whatever before, but he gets that it's like, it's important. Like yeah. performative behavior is very, very important to everything Cantor's about. Um, so being a, being in a place where people are encouraged to do that and given the tools to be like hyper performative and, and big, whew, all about that. So yeah, yeah I, Cantor I needs it. an opera made after him. He, yeah, he acts, but his like, whole life is the opera. Like he's in an opera. Yeah, yeah. He, exactly. He, it's like no, there must be blood. Like that's his whole. <laughs> yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. She she gestures you back, and there's a there's like an edge of a. It's like it's like a painting. You can see like the gilt edge of a frame, but it's like twenty feet high. Um, it's this huge. It's another piece from a show. This big portrait that was done for um, an opera about. Um, uh, the the in the lore of the immortal emperor he has this succession of like evil wizards that that he battled through time uh that's part of, everyone knows it's not real but it's like the, i mean not not everyone <laughs> well yeah cantor <laughs> uh, definitely believes in the evil wizards it's like there's like this cycle there's like 12 cycle of things that, that happened before the cataclysm and afterwards um and so she goes back and like dramatically pulls down this dusty piece of canvas off this this painting and behind it is is the the evil count necromancer from one of the one of the operas and he's wearing what you would what you imagined when i said evil count necromancer totally i'm envisioning vigo the carpathian <laughs> yeah <laughs> scourge of Aldavia. it's very asymmetrical like one one armored collar and the other side is is you know missing it's like like a jousters collar piece. yeah 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 one, unarmored arm that's all like gothic and uh like reptile scales and um 
she says, this. It must, it must be this. And she turns on her heel and like rummages through all her stuff and starts hauling out pieces of this. Yeah, I'm about it. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I love this costume. It's yeah. the kind of thing where now, if if you were wearing it all the time, like you and that Oscar at, in his Birdman costume, mm-hmm. like RC would be the one that's totally out of place now. Like, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. and Birdman would people would be like, I kind of get you guys. You guys, I, you sort right. of come together. Who's this normal person over here? Yep. Yeah, yeah. RC would have to do something to uh, to step up to. Yeah, and I think it's piecemeal, so you can like mix and match it. You can wear the whole thing, which includes a like a cape. Yeah, totally. The the like or the like even. sexy version of the costume is like no shirt, but the arm thing, the like totally. reptile yeah. armor. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. If you want to go the full piece, like there's a hairdo, there's eye makeup, there's if, you, you you get the whole picture. <laughs> Skyliner. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like intense, like big kind of Egyptian eye and oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well Can- Cantor is Cantor is very slowly becoming interested in the the like grand history of of the the empire right like these ancient <laughs> stories and and like he's still he's still just like a dumb kid really like deep down so these like fairy tales about baller emperors fucking <laughs> killing killing sorcerers and banging hot chicks he's like oh i want that i want to be yeah, that he's, guy he's, he's super interested in history vis-a-vis awesome dudes he wants to be like yeah That's exactly like yeah. it's like the emperor took every corner <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then he built some more. So he can... <laughs> That's right. He wants, like he Asher wants built some corners on top of his corner. Nobody stepped to that guy, right? He killed necromancers. It's historical and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Love, I, I like it. that. So I think that very slowly that's kind of like seeping in. He's picking up these little bits and pieces about his, uh, his, his, his sort of, uh, his lineage. Um, and, yeah. uh, yeah, it kind of sees himself as uh, as a, a, a an heir in some fashion or another. To at and least we've said this before, it's kind empire. of legit. Like yeah. if when you take him off the street, he he looks his face, his features, Cantor's whole vibe. He looks like the the bust on a coin or something. Like he he mm-hmm. does have the look of that heritage in his bones. Oh my God! Somebody in chat, Triscorp, just said like Alex in Clockwork Orange reading the Bible. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just being like, yeah, I read the Bible, and people are like, "Cool." Did you learn about humility stuff? Nah, God was a motherfucker. I he like just killing people. I imagine myself to be a Roman. Like, God, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. So I, I have this vision of you like holding up your gun to somebody who's like quivering somewhere, and you're like, "Have you ever heard this story of the man's <laughs> name, whatever?" And then yeah, like yeah. you tell him that you're like the emperor, shepherd for your people, or whatever. <laughs> I love it. There's a speech that comes with this. Man. Yeah, yeah, the go- the gospel of Cantor, it's a real thing. Just wait, it'll happen. The megalomania, if it's not stopped by a bullet, will not be stopped by anything. Um, yeah, so cool. I have I have I've I've dove into that uh pretty hard and uh, and now I have a a costume appropriate for the fire and brimstone version of me. Um let okay, me see. So you mean everyday version of you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is anytime Cantor is like not in his underwear at in six hours, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Exactly. It's one or the other. Um, you gonna de stress yeah, while you're doing this? Let's, let's see how it goes. Let's see if mine works. Uh yep, there we go. All right. Okay. Four stress cleared. Nice. Leaving you with four. Here we go. Yep. Uh, cool. Uh, Double down on stress with Revcar. Do you want to leave it there? Uh, no, I'll leave it at four. I'm okay with four. I think. How much? How much do you have, RC? I got three now. You got three? Yeah, I feel like that's probably safe. Uh, Oscar, yeah. you wanna you wanna do something? Uh, sure. I I have a a couple of things to do. Uh, so first off, much like the rest of my crew, I will be de-stressing. But I think that we're actually gonna have a weirdly frivolous de-stressing this time. Uh, so a lot of times when we see Oscar, it's Oscar working on private projects or, you know, doing like normal, you know, things like burying himself or whatnot. Yeah, right. Uh, and, uh, he's, he's, uh, I think that this time is like the one time that we see Oscar doing things that are sort of like in vain with his social status, uh, which is to say, I'm hoping to go to like the equivalent. Of, so I, I imagine that Duskwell has this like Victorian kind of vibe to me that's like interspersed with some, uh, uh, you know, industrial revolution type shit. Um, 
And so I have this like image that, you know, the, the nobility, of course, uh, breaking the rules like nobility is wont to do, probably have like parlor parties with like seances and whatnot. Now, obviously, ghosts are real in this world uh, and not necessarily like totally off the table. So like a lot of the stuff that was being done might be a little less um, unexpected or strange or, or risky or like whatever. Uh, so I think that they're probably playing like some weird games where like people bring in objects and then, then folks have to like try and like pick up something from them and whatnot. Um, and uh, one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to do is essentially like uh, Oscar is, is playing. Uh, so it's really funny because like the real persona is actually, this is a lot like Batman where the real person is Batman and the like yeah. facade is Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Uh, so like all these people are, are talking about like, you know, um, weird occult stuff you know and he's like oh you know the rumors about my family are just that rumors I'm, i i've had predecessors that were totally into that stuff but i've i've only like read some books on it here let me try um and uh the way that he yeah, dresses think... is uh he's hoping to scare the living jesus shit out of everyone in that room when he actually like a tooth awesome. hard and, like let me touch the ouija board yeah, you i'm bring sure your, you bring your <laughs> wig aboard uh yeah i i i may i may even like bring a ghost with me or something but yeah the, the idea is of course that that you know he's he's totally playing up the innocence and then there's like a light show and special effects and you know uh then he's like oh my is it always like this and you know uh sort of go in that direction yeah the, uh, the scarlet pimpernel uh <laughs> <laughs> kind of alter ego um yeah i think even maybe this is a bit of a reputation because like everyone knows that the Skurlock family fortunes ha have dwindled and uh, Lord Skurlock is is this kind of mysterious figure who, f you know, fits into some weird governmental capacity here and there and has some t weird titles and is never in, in the social scene anymore. He's just this kind of mover and shaker that's sort of moved beyond Duskwall politics. Uh, and and when you show up at parties, it's just like, uh, yeah, how boring. It's just this totally normal kid. Like everyone wants Skurlocks to be mysterious and weird and stuff. And you've you've created this false persona <laughs> where um, I think most of the time when you're yourself at these events, um, people are just like, uh, what a shame. The Skurlocks they they were so intriguing, and now this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. exactly the kind of vibe I want to cultivate, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, to kind of push the envelope at least, uh, you know, once or twice to kind of either build up the mystique or, or have that. So like, it's, uh, it's very important to note that a tune is something that everyone can have yeah. and it's not a mysterious thing and your blood totally doesn't necessarily do anything, but, um, that is a fancy story that humans like to think of and tell. And so I definitely want to play up the, like, Oh, but you know, Oscar's got the family curse or something or the touch. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It must be a natural. Uh yeah. So uh so you anyway, that's my plan. Accidentally uh do something truly Yeah, I, I accidentally crank it up to thirteen and uh try to scare some noble people or give them a good thrill. Yeah, I think it's I, I like your idea for the party. Everyone brings up it's like a I was gonna say it's like a key party. It's not really like a key party. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those key parties, but you fuck ghosts. <laughs> um, Next week on Ghost Fuckers. <laughs> uh, there, are, there are ghost keys, actually. <laughs> Everyone always asks me, what I is ghost keys? have key? one. They're for ghost key parties. Yeah, ghost key parties. Uh, Obviously, you bring someone else's dead relative home with you. <laughs> No, uh, what uh, I was this say, actually but... does sound like the sort of thing that Oscar would be into for reals. Yeah, less I, than I, I, I think this thing does probably exist, but um, <laughs> this particular one. Yeah, now, so many awkward situations with Oscar. I've never done this before with the living. <laughs> <laughs> You're so opaque. This is... <laughs> and, um... So you tangible. Can yeah. Mm. <laughs> I like how your bones are covered in skin and flesh. That's new to me. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Gross, Oscar. Uh, Gross. Yeah. Um, no, so everyone brings a personal item. They put, a, put it in a velvet bag, and then, you know, you pass it around and take it out, and everyone, you know, tries to, like, feel it and guess whose it is, and it's this cute little game and um, very low stakes, but people pretend that they're getting visions or they're seeing things or whatever. Um, may and maybe some people do really attune a little bit, too, but um, you're going to fucking blow the lid off it. Uh, yeah. so.
So uh, that's the plan. Yeah, cool. Uh, so cool. So should I should I roll for vice? Yes. Yeah, dude. Uh, and is this a is, is this a thing that I can leverage having a friend around for? I think your friend Anya is always involved in this kind of stuff. Perfect. I would love to do exactly that. All right, cool. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Boom. What happens when you crit on Vice? Uh, nothing. You feel good about yourself because you're great. <laughs> like you, the player. The character gets nothing, but you're yeah. you're awesome. Your friends like you more than they did before you rolled two sixes. <laughs> I do, yeah. No, I, I like you a lot. If I you're great now, now pretty much. Superb, yeah. yeah really Plus good. Five. Uh, yeah. It's... Maybe that maybe there's a cool effect where I get invited to more parties. So. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, so, all right, cool. Uh, that's my actual downtime. Now we actually go into spending some coin, and we have a couple of quick chats. Uh, the most important one is I promised this to RC, so this is what we're doing. Um, I would like to purchase the the place where the mist and the fog and the awfulness happen because I imagine the property values are low. Uh, and I'd like to build something meaningful there. Maybe I can convince some of my new noble people that making gestures for the community is good. Maybe we can build an orphanage or something like that. You want to build uh, an orphanage over the demon pit? Yes. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Overlook Orphanage. <laughs> guys, guys, I found a way for our gang to be more awful. Yeah. We're going to infect her. <laughs> that was not what RC had in mind. <laughs> she was like, let's build something to cover this. An orphanage. Oh, great, Oscar. Hey, nothing Oscar said he had Nothing it. plugs up a ghost hole like a bunch of orphans. <laughs> Just jam them in there. Uh, yes, that is a thing you could do. Uh, uh, it, it could be, it could be any number of things. Skirlock home for wayward it... children with no parents. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't laugh. That's actually kind of meaningful to me. Uh, hmm. I just imagine how many of them will wear weird costumes one day. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm down with. Uh, I, I'm willing to like alter the plan slightly, uh, but I definitely would like it to be kind of like a public works thing. Like I, this is a nice work fine. That's, for, huh? My orphanage is totally fine. That's that's that that is a thing. Crowsfoot has many unwanted children. I lived in one of those. It is my yeah. Like from there. Um, yeah. The Hags. That, that is the kind of thing that the. Oh my God! Can you uh, name cool. it after me? Yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! Can you name it after me? Can it be the Cantor Hag home for soon to be wicked badasses? <laughs> Cantor Hag home for little boys whose mom doesn't love them, but it's okay. They're going to be great. <laughs> Please stop it. Uh... <laughs> Workshop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if Cantor had his way, like every every building would have the longest name ever. It'd be like a paragraph. Cantor's eggs home. Cantor Hague, for... home and school for people f for whom things will turn around. I promise. <laughs> Just uh... as long as you're badass, like yeah, but don't be a wimp. Or you'll get killed. <laughs> the tr the trick, of course, being that um, we want to find the appropriate kind of caretaker who will not mind too much if we slip in and out or maybe make sure that we can access the area through like the canals, which or whatever. Right. Um, but yeah, it, the point is to build, a, to build a structure because we don't want like a park or some shit uh, and uh, to, to make it meaningful such that it's not looked at too closely by the powers that be. It's like a nice gesture from several nobles who are just looking out for the community and trying to close up an eyesore and make sure that property that nobody else wants is turned into something productive and useful. And, uh, and it also like the spirit wardens are overtaxed and spread thin across the city because of um, they still haven't quite figured out who massacred the, one of their units uh, and they're trying to still get to the bottom of that. But um, this this gives them permission not to care about this too. Like whoever in, in your noble circles like knows the guys who in the city council that take care of this stuff, like the spirit wardens really need to pay attention to this stupid demon pit uh, but they can be like, oh, no, don't, it's fine. Uh, see, it, the city we, has taken care of it. We clean that all up. Um, yeah. Strash, I assume that you're, you want to, are you going to handle this as a long-term project to build this building? Is that what you had in mind? Uh, I don't know. Well, uh, uh, either Trevor, way. How do we do this? Sorry. You... I'm okay. With, I'm, I'm okay with just putting the wheels in motion and having it appear like four or five down because it doesn't feel like. I necessarily need to do the actions that are going to make this go. Well, one of the th actions I thought you might want to do is sort of 
contain it a little bit so that there isn't like black fog just coming up out of the orphanage and going to the canal so that the pit is somewhat sealed. And that, that is definitely an Oscar sort of thing that you could do before they start putting scaffolding all over it. Not saying you have to, I just, if you were going to handle this long-term project, I thought one of the actions you could take would be kind of keeping it from erupting demon fog. Yeah. Now, now, now I just want the whole game to be about the three of us and like our patronage over this weird orphanage. <laughs> like, you know, we go to visit and they're, all the kids are like trying to impress us. And like, we have these, we have these awards that we give them for merit. Make little gold statues of, of Skurlock. Are you kidding? We could call them Oscars. <laughs> The most, most tentacles this quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Headmaster Haig. I do. I get my coins out of their ears. <laughs> uh, amazing. Yeah. We can have our own little X-Men. Yes, this, this is a good long-term project. Uh, I think a good first step, RC is on the right track here. Like, whoever goes to work at the place now, like half of them will probably go missing uh, from the work crew. <laughs> so... Yeah. So I think that there's uh, two types of work crews. There is the work crew that is up during the standard shifts and during the rest hours, because uh, like they, they divide up the day even though there's no sun uh, in different ways. I think that at, and I'm going to use quoting fingers here, night, uh, right. some of the work crews may have some of our tattoos and gang sigils on them, even though they're wearing like work crew clothes. And we all just kind of give the like, sup, heads up to each other as like Oscar will show up in his like, weirdo outfit and actually handle the black mist and seal stuff up and, and help with clearing out that stuff like removing debris from there uh putting a, a channel into like the sewers so that like when we got a lot down the like secret passages or whatever we can get here and so on i, th I think it'd be reasonable for you to use your gang for this the, the yeah. adults seems like they they could aid in this Ar uh, arcane contractors they're, they're, they're probably going to have to work on 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 uh brewing some of our hot new drugs uh True, yeah, but fair, yeah fair. uh can i just make a first off uh what size clock is this and can we say that the first action the containment of the supernatural effects and the cleanup part uh i feel like would be in tune but after that it might be consort to get sure. money and yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that is that cool yep 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 all right sweet uh i think eight is good it is good all right, cool. Um, I will create an eight clock for Cantor Hague Orphanage for Wayward Children. <laughs> uh -huh. Got any excuse for me to put up paintings of myself, busts of myself, name things after me. I have never had a building named after me before. I came from an orphanage. This is like, I didn't, this is the beautiful thing I never knew that I needed in my life, and now I have it. We're building up to our Janestown episode. <laughs> yeah. When Cantor shows up at the orphanage and looks at the statue of himself pointing at the horizon, it's like, yeah. Yeah, you too can grow up to be as good as Cantor. <laughs> well, no, no, almost, though. Good luck. You can try. Yeah, that's right. And so normally, Strash, like, I go down into the demon pit and try to contain its energies would be, like, a really super dangerous thing to do. But when it's your demon... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the kind of thing you can do as part of a long-term project. You kind of go, you know. Pretty uh, so since this happens to be downtime and my demon happens to be my best friend, exactly. uh, yep. I'm going to snag an extra die if that's cool. Absolutely. Are we good? Um, Here we so, go. And on top of that, uh, when you when you go to do this, so the S Satara uh, freed from her binding. Uh, we haven't seen her a whole lot um, since since that happened. She's been doing whatever she wanted to do. Um, I'm sure it was fine, but uh, she actually she actually shows up like when when you when you arrive, um, she rises out of the water, black scaled, like not in her human form. You haven't seen her in her human form since. I don't think. So. I don't ask her to be. She seemed to be around that in around Skurlock, and I really don't care if she looks like a shark yeah. person. Yeah, I, exactly. Girl, um, I love you just the way you is. Yes, actually. Yeah. Out, you see, like, a few bodies, like, below the black water, new new bodies that are d deteriorating and, and the being uh, corrupted by the demonic waters there. Um, and she, she looks at you and, like, awaits your sorcerer's command. Um, 
which is generally how she acts around you now. She doesn't really like start conversations or anything. But um, that's odd, isn't it? Well, yeah, this happened. I, the last time you saw her before this, uh, the we had a scene where your um, relationship with her ended forever. Um, don't, do you remember that? <laughs> when, you, when you bound her, it when went from her. we're friends to you're my master. Yeah, you're her master now. Um, she's oh, not, you're breaking my heart here. That's I already not... did. It was in a previous episode. Yeah, I think, I think your heart was broken then yeah. too. We can go back and it's like the Simpsons where we'll roll back and this is the point right here when Strush's <laughs> heart breaks <laughs> frame by frame. This really hurts. I know, sorry. Um, and, uh, but yeah, so she... I'm going to work on this. Jesus, I need more projects. Go on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. It was many episodes ago and the gist of it was when you when you bound her, like her will disappears and she has to obey everything you say and like all That's of... That's awful. I know. Yeah. It's Why would terrible. anybody do that? I, I, I did, mean, I all right. Well, I, I'll, I'll work on that. I have to like fix the clauses and the ritual such that she's protected from... You know, ordinary assholes like my my uncle uh, kidnapping her soul again, but I she can you know be more Sitaran. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, we'll fix this. Thank sure. you. I, I now have a project. We'll work. We'll work on that. Sure. Wow. It's almost like people don't want giant elemental machines of destruction from the primeval parts of time to like run around free will. That's just yeah absolutely absurd. Why would why would, uh. yeah? All right. Uh, so anyway, let me let me finish my roll here. Uh, boom. Yeah. Nice, and I'll I'll fill in three segments on my my clock to start this orphanage thing. If if you wanna if you wanna spend coin, this is the best time to do it to bump that up to five segments. I will totally spend a coin and uh, bump that up to five segments. Oh my god, this this orphanage would be so great to like grow up into because there'd be all these like stories of like haunted wings and like kids getting all weird and shit. Man, like there's a whole young adult book series about the <laughs> about growing up this in orphanage. The, in the yeah. orphanage yeah. Yeah. Can't, yeah, oh dag, yes, yeah. We we we've started like several Blades in the Dark campaigns tonight. I think in chat, people are like, "I want to play a kid who grew up in this <laughs> nice character." Yeah, yeah. yeah well, little little gangs on. of school children in the orphanage fighting each other. Ah, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna teach them the ways of the streets. It's gonna be awesome, and uh, we'll come up with a cool name, and there might be a special episode or, or two. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it needs a great name, like you know. Uh, Thorn Hollow, or like, exactly, like, yeah. That, that, that horrible, like, uh, yeah. We're on it. We will figure out the branding yeah. and maybe yeah. help, help us out, chat. Some give us, give us names some for creepy this. about birds and what happened. Rats in the dark, cute, <laughs> cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, cool. Um, so I, I, I kind of want to leave this project at this point because there's three segments yeah. remaining, and we'll roll it again next time. Uh, just because I feel like it'll take a while for things to build up, and I think that that's appropriate. Yeah. Uh, but I have uh, two quick questions that I feel are like gathered information, which I don't think is a downtime action. Uh, and the other thing that I want to talk about is um, new product. Uh, why so we, why don't we grab? Because we've all done a downtime action now. Why don't we? Why don't yeah, we grab a break great. here, and then we can yeah. come back and start finish for, forward thinking. We'll finish up our. our yeah, I, I have a I have a couple short ones too as well. Cool. Okay. Yeah, back. and I've, I saved a coin in case I wanted to do uh, another one too, and I want to look at my clocks. So let's awesome. yeah, let's grab a break, and uh, we'll come back in a couple of minutes and and keep keep it going. Uh, stick around. We got more blades in the dark coming at you right after this. Cool. 